Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God. Five minutes in the Word of God. Five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Proverbs 29, beginning in verse 2. God says, For the transgression of a land, many are the princes thereof. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, the state thereof shall be prolonged. Again, God is saying, as he says several times in his word, we need good God-fearing men and women in public offices. When God talks about qualifications for leadership, whether it's in the church or in public office, those qualifications always revolve around character. The one exception with regards to leadership in the church is that a pastor has to be able to teach the Word of God which is extremely important, the most important thing. But other than that, it's all character related and the same with public leaders, people who will stand firm for what is right, for what God says is best. So just good character people who you know pray, who read the Word of God, who get their marching orders from God, people who will introduce laws that will promote what God wants. If you have people like that in office, and if you are righteous, you're going to be happy. The people will be happy. The people will rejoice. It'll be good times. Three, a poor man that oppresseth the poor is like a sweeping rain which leaveth no food. Fast living is fine if you want to shoot up like a rocket and then crash crash just as fast as a rocket coming down. Fast living will soon break you and in the end, if you don't repent, it'll damn your soul to hell. But there are people <clears throat> who love short-term excitement and they don't care about the consequences, don't think long-term. It's really foolish. Short-term excitement, long-term misery, including eternal damnation, is a bad deal. No one should let Satan tell them that they will be the exception, meaning that they can get away with it. There are plenty of people who live like that and think they're, for whatever reason, they're going to get away with it. Satan does a good job convincing them, and they're very convincible because that's what they want truth to be. It doesn't matter what you want truth to be. Truth is truth. It's objective, whether you want it or not. There are a lot of people in hell right now who believe that they could get away with their fast living because they believed one of Satan's biggest lies. Whoso loveth wisdom, though, rejoiceth his father. In other words, a righteous person who listens to the word of God will make his or her parents very happy. It's just the way to go for a lot of reasons. If you want to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture verse by verse, you can be by praying for me and God's Word. And when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, go to the front page, click the Donate button, perfectly give. As the Lord may lead, that also makes you a part of this ministry. See you next time on Coffee Break.